Our scouting journey on the Canadian path begins with youth-led. Youth-led scouting is a very important element of the Canadian path. It allows youth to select the activities that they want to do while building upon their leadership skills. Firstly, the youth have a strong say in their program. They should select the activities that they want to do. Starting in small groups, youth collect ideas in their lodges, sixes, and patrols. This is a great start to making sure everyone's voice is heard. Then the senior youth shares with the larger group the top activities that their unit has agreed upon. The group then narrows down the selection and chooses the most popular and realistic activities. Think of how you can gather ideas for your short stints in your program. This exercise should be repeated multiple times during the year for camps, events, and seasonal program cycles. Ask your troop, what would we like to do this fall? Or your colony, what should we explore at camp? How can we do this and make it fun for our youth? For Beaver Scouts, Scouters will be closely involved in the planning, doing, and reviewing of just about any activity. Beavers will still have a say in what they do, but Scouters will assist them in planning adventures that are accessible and safe for all members. In the sharing process, have the Beavers vote with wood chips on what ideas they love the most. Cub Scouts take the same steps when choosing what adventures they want to do, but will take on more leadership of their program. PAC decides what activities they want to do and together, they problem solve to sort out the logistics and plans. The goal is to keep Cubs involved at every stage of planning, doing and reviewing, giving Cubs a voice. I told their Kayla that I discovered a new way of making s'mores. At the next camp, I was allowed to show everybody how to make it. Any well-run scout troop should already exhibit strong youth leadership. More than in Beaver Scouts and Pub Scouts, certain members of the troop are meant to have specific leadership roles. In a scout troop, scouters have the challenge of taking a big step back to let patrol leaders develop their leadership skills. Scouts can brainstorm their own ideas, facilitate their own discussions, and share responsibilities among themselves. They won't always get everything right the first time, but they will learn from their experiences, and scouters are there to ensure the scouts have safe, fun adventures. With the Canadian Path, scouts are given the chance to run the show as much as possible. Rather than leading the Venturer Scouts, Venturer Scouters act as guides and mentors when planning, doing, and reviewing an activity. Adventures are always led by Venturers, but when required, Scouters share their wisdom, experience, and knowledge with their companies. For Rover Scouts, peer mentorship is an important part of scouting. This provides an opportunity for Rovers to explore the many dimensions of leadership and teamwork. A Scouter who volunteers with the Rover section will probably learn just as much from the Rovers as the Rovers do from their Scouter. And that's exactly how it should be. I think a scout is somebody who takes care of the earth, does good deeds, helps other scouts out, and cubs and beavers. And that's really it. My favorite thing about scouting is the freedom. Because we learn by doing, but we always have a leader nearby to help. Remember also, a youth-led program is letting the youth lead the planning, doing, and reviewing of the activities. How a scouter supports a youth-led program will depend on the section. Young members may require additional supervision and guidance from their scouters. With older youth, scouters act more as mentors, guiding youth when direction is needed. With the Canadian Path, all sections will participate in exciting adventures that are unique, rewarding, and more importantly, youth-led. Join us on the Canadian Path and discover your next great adventure. We'll see you on the Canadian Path.